All right, now that you've just gone over the tableware, one of the important things in that was glasses or cups. And what better things to put in cups than alcohol? So here's to you. All right, Whew, nothing like wetting your whistle. So the bar is an area that my wife and I love a lot because we really enjoy craft cocktails, craft beers, and not just because we like to drink, but really because we like to make creative things and share that with our family and friends and give them experiences they haven't necessarily had um, themselves. And frankly, a lot of them think it's impressive and makes us feel good. <laughs> so what do you need uh, to, have, to have a basic bar? Well, first you need to get into your alcohol. So if it's wine, you need a corkscrew. If it's beer, you need a bottle opener. We like this kind, it's a bent nail with a magnet on it so it grabs the bottle for you. But this is also called a speed blade, which you may have seen in bars. And that's what they use because it's really easy to use and very efficient. So once you're in your alcohol, oh wait, there's one other kind of alcohol, that's liquor. So since we're at a bar, let's talk about making a cocktail. So to make a cocktail, you need a liquor, you need a mixer, and you need ice. And you don't always need one, but in this case, we're gonna use a shaker. So for the shaker, this is what's called the Boston shaker. And that's our preferred kind of shaker because one, it gives a lot of extra space to shake in, and two, it's kind of fun and it looks cool. It's what the professionals use. Um, it's basically just two metal cups that go inside of each other. You hit it, you shake it, and then you gotta pop, pop it off and pour it. It's usually not quite that loud. The downside of using this kind of shaker is that you may need to use an additional strainer if you're using something that has particulate in it, whereas other shakers have the strainer built in and they don't require you to pop it off like that. But we like the Boston shaker. This is a jigger. This is essentially a shot glass, but it gives you the exact measurement. So this one here we have is two ounces and one ounce, which we like, but the standard is one and a half to 0.75. So depending on who you ask, a shot may vary anywhere from 1.25 to one and a half to, for us, it's two ounces, because that's more fun. But the important thing with the jigger is to have good um, divisible numbers here. We once had a trip with friends where they had a shaker or a jigger that was one ounce on one side and one and a quarter on the other. That makes it really hard when you're trying to do multiples of things when you're making cocktails. So stick to something simple. All right, that's it for the basic needs. Let's dive into some of the other things that make the bar a little more interesting.